The thing that, that really excites me is information. Mm -hmm. I think that information is a very powerful argument in favor of design. Information scientist named Dr. Werner Gett. And he talks about information, that wherever we see information, it's in five levels. So I'd like to go through it real quickly. Yeah, sure. All right. So first level is that of statistics. And so let's so suppose you see a bumper sticker, and it has 16 characters and three words, and there's a certain font and size and color. It's just statistical information. Second level is syntax. So you take those same letters, they're not they're arranged, arranged randomly, they're, they're arranged, arranged in a specific in, yeah. way to create words, right. and they conform to rules. And so you get more information, mm -hmm. they're also creating sentences and paragraphs. Yeah. That's syntax. The third level is that of semantics. And that is, so again, these letters and words are not arranged randomly, but they're arranged in a very specific order to provide meaning. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that meaning is uh, a single word, like the word love can have multiple meanings, but it's determined by the context. The fourth level is application. I like to use an example of when we bought a bicycle for my daughter. Um, I had this list of assembly instructions for putting together all these parts into the bicycle. Mm -hmm. And I discovered that reading and understanding the words was not nearly as complicated as the next level, which is actually putting it all together. Mm -hmm. And especially when it came to the handbrakes, I actually had to take it to the the bicycle shop to get it completely finished. So, uh -huh. And then the fifth level is purpose. So you have these people that write these directions to help parents put together the bicycles. But what I find to be so fascinating is that all five of these levels are very clearly seen in DNA. That you've got these instructions that is communicating, that where it gets peeled off in the RNA and gets taken over to those ribosomes and the ribosomes then assemble these amino acids which then gets folded into the right form and, and uh, it all is very complex, but then it's also used inside in the organelles of the cell. How can those five levels come from a naturalistic cause? You, you play chess, don't you? Mm -hmm. Do you know what? What the rook does? Yes. Okay, so it can go vertical, horizontal, mm -hmm. bishop, can go uh, diagonal, diagonal yeah. right? Yeah. These can just go up and down mm -hmm. and to the left. Yeah. But that's only when you're applying the rules. Yeah. That's only when you have semantics. And that's only when you have application. There's evolution does not have a mind or intelligence. It has no ability to discern uh, rules, to conform to rules, understand rules, apply rules. Because our experience is, information comes from an intelligent source. Let me show you this. What do you see here? Two different items. Yeah. Okay, so there's a quarter and a rock. And a rock. All right. Were either of these intelligently designed? The uh, quarter. But uh, what about the quarter helps you realize that this was intelligently designed? Uh, the letters, the okay. order, the communication. That's right. But uh, my point is that in the world that we exist, that we live in, mm -hmm. there's two options when it comes to design. There's design, mm -hmm. and then there's things that are formed randomly or naturally, mm -hmm. okay? So wherever you look around you, you can see table that's designed, clothing's designed, um, floors, walls, ceiling, lights, all kinds of design. We see it everywhere, but when it comes to science in the university setting, there's only one option for living things. Do you know what that one option is? Intelligent design? Or? Not design. Okay. You see, it's funny because um, the people that you would say that because that would be the natural thing is that living things are intelligently designed. Mm -hmm. They appear to be. There's all kinds of evidence that uh, living things are intelligently designed, such as the DNA. Mm -hmm. We live in a world where uh, things are intelligently designed and other things are not. But when it comes to science, all we see, all we are given, is this one point of view. I think it's unfair, and I think that it does not help people to, to think critically. It doesn't help people to seriously consider a well, what if God exists. Even asking those questions, is there evidence and what evidence is there in favor of design 
What had crossed my mind is um, why this is important to you, just out of curiosity. To me, this is really a very important topic because one of the implications of evolution is that a lot of people have discredited Christianity and the Bible because of, because of evolution. They, they just, um, they may not see evidence in favor of God, they may not uh, think that, uh, that it's important, but <laughs> think about it. Just think, just, just look at how complex we are. Does this come as a result of natural causes? I don't believe it does. I believe that God created us, and I believe that God created you. And God wants you to know that he passionately wants you to know him. Did you find this discussion interesting? Did you find this to be helpful at all? Yeah, um, I always appreciate um, conversation about things that are important, and I do think that this is an important um, conversation to have, and it's an important topic, and it's also really refreshing to see um, to see someone as passionate as you are about it and willing to do something about it. So, yes, I did find it helpful. So. Excellent. Can so. I shake your hand? Thank you. Very I like you.